Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, Sunday should have been a day filled with adrenaline pumping competition set to a soundtrack of cheers and scuffles, sneakers on a basketball court. It wasn't supposed to be a day marred by a tragedy that took the lives of nine people and left a city heartbroken. Now, many of the victims of the Calabasas helicopter crash were united in their love of basketball, headed to a tournament at the Mamba Sports Academy in Thousand Oak. Now, they included Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gianna, a budding basketball player who was ready to follow in her father's footsteps, a baseball coach, John Altobeli, uh, his wife, Carrie, and their basketball playing daughter, Alyssa, mother and daughter, Sarah and Peyton Chester, uh, Mamba Academy basketball coach, Christina Mosser, and pilot Aira Zobanyan. Now, uh, now that we know each of the nine victims, um, let's remember all nine. Now, Kobe Bryant, 41. Bryant was an NBA MVP who had a 20-year career with the Lakers that began when he was 18 years old. He had a 19-year marriage with his wife, Vanessa, and was a father of four daughters, including 13-year-old Gianna, who died along with Brian on Sunday morning. Now, by the end of his basketball career, all of it spent with the Lakers. Bryant was a five-time world champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist with the U.S. team, and 18-time All-Star. He ranks fourth on the NBA's all-time scoring list and was surpassed for third place over the weekend by Lakers star LeBron James. Continuing to move the game forward at King James, much respect, my brother, was uh, Kobe's final tweet. Mm. Now, Gianna Bryant, 13. Gianna Bryant was quick to remind people that her father, who was the son of a professional basketball player, didn't need a son of his own to continue the family's base basketball legacy. Now, Brian had four daughters. Gianna was something else on the basketball court, he told the Times last year. Now, Gianna was hell-bent on playing for Gino Arima, the longtime coach of the famed women's basketball team at the University of Connecticut, and one day for the WNBA, Bryant said. Now, uh, L.A. Sparks coach Derek Fisher, who won five titles with Bryant, said the former NBA superstar and Gianna had a similar demeanor and personality. Gianna attended Harbor Day School in Newport Beach. A video of Gianna's basketball highlights that went viral last year showed her using moves she learned from her father. Now, another video shared by her mother showed Gianna goofing around after a formal event, dribbling and lobbying basketballs while wearing a ruffled skirt and high heels. Now, Gianna played on the top-tier team at the Mamba Sports Academy, which her father coached. Now, last year, Bryant took his players, including Gianna, to watch the Sparks play the Las Vegas Aces. They discussed plays and strategy and met WNBA All-Star Asia Wilson and Liz Cambage. Uh, the first one is John Altobelli and Carrie Altobelli and Alyssa Altobelli. Now, John Altobelli was the head baseball coach at Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa. His wife, Carrie, and their daughter, Alyssa, were also on board. Now, it's hard to put into words what this loss means to the college and the athletic department, Orange Coast College athletic director Jason Keller said. Now, John was a tremendous coach and an even better friend. Beyond that, he was an amazing mentor to all of the students and athletes that he taught and coached. He treated them all like family and his impact will live on forever.
Now, uh, Alta Belly was a former coach of the Brewster Whitecaps on Cap Cod, Cape Cod. Now, Alta Belly also managed players who eventually made the big leagues, including Yankee slugger Aaron Judge. Now, Alyssa Alta Belly played on the same basketball team as uh, Kobe's daughter. Now, in a November post, Kobe Bryant praised Alta Belly's uh, defense in a game. John, Carrie, and Alyssa are survived by the couple's two other children, Lexi and JJ, according to a statement from the Orange Coast College. Now, another victim was Christina Malzer. Now, the husband of Christina Malzer posted on Facebook that she died in the helicopter crash. Now, Malzer was a basketball coach at Harbor Day School in Newport Beach, where Kobe's daughter attended school. I got three small kids, and I'm trying to figure out how to navigate life with three kids and no mom. Monster said Monday on the Today Show. Now, Monster said both he and his wife were close with Brian. He saw what an amazing mind Christina had for basketball. She was an amazing mind of defense for basketball, so he brought her on. They called her the mother of defense, MOD. Now, uh, two other victims was Sarah Chester and Peyton Chester. Now, Sarah Chester and her middle school age daughter, Peyton, were also on board. Peyton was a teammate of uh, Kobe's daughter, uh, Gianna Bryant. Now, Sarah and Peyton were the lights of our family, the Chester said in a statement released Monday. Peyton had a smile and a personality that would light any room and a passion for the game of basketball. She found joy on any court and loved all of her teammates and coaches. Sarah was full of life and the glue of our family. She was a tireless force in support of her family. The love we feel from so many today is a testament to the community she created for us. Now, uh, Sarah Chester's brother, Andy George, described her as the one that everybody counted on. She was there for everyone, he said. She was everything to her family, to our family. Anytime I needed anything, she was the person I went to. Uh, he said Peyton was the gentlest person you would ever meet. Now Sarah is survived by her husband, Chris, and her two sons, Hayden and Riley. Now, a man the registered identified as the former principal at Peyton's Elementary School posted a tribute to the pair on Facebook. While the world mourns the loss of a dynamic athlete and humanitarian, I mourn the loss of two people just as important. Their impact was just as meaningful. Their loss will be just as keenly felt and our hearts are just as broken. Mm. Now, uh, we have learned that the um, helicopter was piloted by uh, Aero Zobanyan. Now, a lot of people reported that Kobe uh, was the pilot and he was driving, but that is not correct. Uh, now, according to the FAA, he received his commercial pilot certificate in 2007. Zabanyan was qualified to fly in bad weather conditions, according to the FAA records cited by the Washington Post. He was also qualified to teach others how to fly in bad weather. Now, uh, Darren Kemp told the LA Times that Zabanyan was his flight teacher and Bryant's private pilot. He said when he heard Bryant had died in the crash, he knew Zabanyan was with him. He doesn't let anyone else fly him around but Era, Kemp said, according to the outlet. Mm. Well, my, my, my sincere condolences go out to all the families. And on yesterday, um, we did not know about any, you know, any of the other um, victims. All we knew was... Um, Kobe and his daughter, and now that we know the other, um, all nine 
victims. Uh, we sincerely hope that you will pray as well for all the families. Mm. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, important, y'all, be blessed.